and you're doing an episode about drilling, so I'm here to what? Move over, drill man. We have a new drill-themed character, and she rules. If you've never heard of Quake Woman, that isn't too shocking. She's not from any game, nor was she a scrap design. Quake Woman was created for the Archie comics, and first appears in issue 13. She became a reoccurring character and is considered one of the main cast. Quake Woman has an alter ego name, much like how Proto Man goes by Blues and Mega Man goes by Rock. Tempo is her original name, before being modified into Quake Woman. Tempo was created by another exclusive character to the comic, Dr. Nole Lalinde. Tempo is a sister bot as well, and we meet her at the end of the comic's run, Vespa Woman, who is a bee-themed robot based on the scrapped concept for Hornet Man. She is befriended by Roll, Kalinka, and Mega Man early on in the comic as the group of them become good friends. Tempo has a signature weapon, the Quake Drill. It's a powerful drill mounted on her buster, much like a charged tornado fang. With this weapon, she can drill into practically any rock and is able to use her drill in creative ways. She's seen using it to break rock, carve ice, tear through metal, and even remove screws. She's also seen being able to vibrate at varying frequency using her ability to disable bombs. As well, she is equipped with a radiation meter, as one might never know what they'll encounter while digging. When the readers first meet Tempo, she's cold and bland. You could say she lacked any kind of personality. Well, that's actually the case. It's revealed during Mega Man's first adventure with Tempo that her professor removed her personality programming after Quake Woman suffered a near-death accident in hopes to ease the pain and fear of potentially losing a daughter. Instead, it would just be like losing a tool. This act is exactly what Proto Man fears will happen if he lets Dr. Light work on him. After her first adventure, Dr. Lalinde restores her programming. However, it is only to the default version, so Quake Woman must once again discover who she is and form a personality. We get to see her first experience frustrations with Iceman, bravery and fear from a sinking ship, and even try to understand love thanks to Roll feeling the need to try and hook her and rock up. Through her rediscovery, we do get to see a glimpse that she has a fear of having her programming removed again after she experiences a traumatic event and is trapped in an ice cavern. Prior to when we actually met Tempo, she had a goofy personality. While we only get to see her for a few panels, Tempo watches her past self in hopes of remembering who she was. In her videos, she's seen playing pranks on her creator and cracking snarking comments towards the rocks she is working on. After her programming is restored, and Tempo is relearning who she is, she's visited by Proto Man, who is furious with her creator. He argues with Tempo that what was done to her was wrong, and that she should be unforgiving. His projections of his own feeling can be shown through their encounter. Tempo herself experienced exactly what he fears will happen to him if he allows anyone to work on him. She is the foil to him, as she has chosen forgiveness and looks to find a happy medium even going so far as to call him out and express how he's angry for something that hasn't even happened. The two encounter one another later on, but this time, Proto Man is on his own path of discovering who he is. Quake Woman, seeing how hurt he is, offers an ear to his troubles and then offers to help him. This last encounter we had with her displays a bond between her and Proto Man growing. Perhaps to give him a place to turn to, while he aims to atone for his sins. Now, Quake Woman can't be talked about without her creator being mentioned, Dr. Nole Lalinde. She met Thomas Light years ago while studying abroad, and the two have kept in touch over the years. She works for GeoWorks International, keeping the rock theme she has with Quake Woman. While shown to be a formidable adversary to Dr. Light in debates, the two have a thing for one another. In fact, while Roll is out trying to get Rock and Tempo to hook up, Light and Lalinde are out having a fancy dinner together. Dr. Lalinde is shown to be caring and compassionate, yet bold as she seems putting her foot down on those who need to be knocked down a peg or two, such as Xavier Payne or Blues. She cares for Tempo as if she was her own flesh and blood daughter, and has a good sense of humor with a mentality that work can be fun. 
She shows remorse for removing Tempo's personality, and even fears what Tempo might think of her given all she's done. However, the two's bond allows them to work through the issues. We last see Dr. Lalinde and Quake Woman helping out Proto Man when he needed some assistance and couldn't go to Light, Wily, or Cossack. While she is unable to help him, she continues to be a voice of reason to him, reminding him once more that Dr. Light has never given up on his first son. It's unfortunate that these characters will likely never appear elsewhere. However, we can be thankful that the comic used them as much as they did, and really made them fit within the world of Mega Man. Just from the sheer volume of fan art at the end of each issue, it's clear they made quite an impact on the fan base. Maybe one day, the comic will pick back up, and we'll get to see more of them. And that wraps up this Basics On video. If you have a character topic overall you'd like to see on the Basics Of series, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Till next time, rock on!